Hi, I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips. In this episode of Tablet Tips, I'm going to cover some of the new features for tablet PC users in Windows 7. Now, the main way tablet PC users interact with their PC is the tablet PC input panel. So there's been some major improvements in that area. You'll notice that uh, when using your mouse on Windows 7, the tablet PC input pane is invisible. This avoids the annoying fact that it is still visible when you're watching a movie full screen. So, using the mouse, you can't see it. Bring the pin close to the screen, it appears. So, let's look at the tablet PC input panel. First, let's look at the keyboard. You'll notice the uh, keyboard is bigger than the one found in Windows Vista. The buttons are more uh, finger-sized. I don't have a touch screen, but if your tablet PC supports touch, you can use this as a touch keyboard. And if your computer supports multi-touch, Microsoft has integrated some features that will make that even a more pleasant experience. Now, let's look at the tablet PC input panel. The first thing you might notice is that the panel doesn't have two sections where you can input freeform and you can import input letter by letter. Those have been merged. So let's type something into our search box here. I'll click on the search box. Now notice the panel went uh, translucent. The uh, input panel now is less intrusive and you can see straight through the panel when your cursor or mouse is not on top of it. So. Let's search for the student tablet user group. Student tablet user group. Well, that did too good of a job. It didn't make any mistakes. Now, uh, I'll demonstrate here what would happen if a mistake was made. You can click on individual words, and it will bring up a... Uh, a letter by letter. So let's pretend it it identified the words that way. So if I wanted to make a mistake, or if I wanted to correct a mistake, U S E R, it automatically did that, and uh, that little apostrophe doesn't need to be there. So you can uh, zoom into each word and get letter by letter, and it'll automatically uh, make suggestions on what you meant to type. So let's insert this. Now I'm using Internet Explorer for a reason here. Um, Internet Explorer is enhanced to support the uh, editing of text fields. So you'll notice all I have to do is highlight a text field, and my tablet PC input panel will uh, give me back that text, and I can edit it and reinsert it. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, Firefox and Chrome, which I tend to use, don't really support this as well as Internet Explorer, but the features will come as time goes on. Now, let's try typing something different. Let's try just my name. So, uh, I typed my name. It recognized it. Now, uh, you'll notice uh, the input panel has some uh, explanations in this area. So, uh, you can split words, you can join words, and you can delete words. Very easy. Now, let's move on to a, a new feature in Windows 7, and that is the math input panel. You can find this by just searching uh, Math Input Panel in the Start menu. I have it pulled up right here. So this allows you to input uh, formulas, math equations, whatever you'd like, and it will automatically detect your handwriting. So let's start by writing a formula. Let's do 1 plus x. Okay, let's make something a little more complicated. Plus the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx. You'll notice it's automatically correcting. That didn't get it quite right, so we can lasso. It'll bring up some suggestions, so let's see from 0 to 1 f of, that's what we wanted. Okay, that's corrected. And let's add something else. Let's try the summation from n equals 1 to 5 of n plus 1, close parenthesis. All right, it got the whole entire equation. So I can click insert. And now, it'll insert the equation right into Microsoft Word. Notice that this just didn't insert anything into Microsoft Word. It inserted the equation into Microsoft Word. Now, this equation is in Microsoft Equation Editor, which is a very powerful equation editing tool. And you can edit the equation just like it is. This, uh, the, the math input panel really 
lets you avoid having to use all of these, uh, these menus. While they're powerful, they take a long time to get good at, and there's just quite a few of them. You're able to just type in the equation you want and go from there. So, aside from that, Microsoft has improved some other things, such as uh, the quality of handwriting recognition and a few other tweaks here and there, but that's the main improvements for the uh, tablet PC input panel and the math input panel. As always, thanks for watching. You can email us at stug at speedstug.com and check out our website, speedstug.com. Thanks for watching.